Yes boys, we are back and welcome to another video. So today is kind of maybe sort of somewhat, yeah, really in the realm of a viewer requested video by Pleasant Valley Picker last night on Thursday Talk. So he was saying maybe you could go through uh, resale YouTube channels and kind of give them a little bit of a review, maybe a review a couple of their videos, something like that. And so I asked in the chat whether that would be something that people might like to see and a few people did say they might like to see it. And Louise kindly volunteered herself to be uh, one of the YouTube channels that I may review and obviously she doesn't really know what she's letting herself in for um, because well I wouldn't say there's no holes barred but you know I, I, I might do a little bit of whipping into people on this series I don't know we'll see what comes of it um, but yeah so Basically, we're on uh, KLC reselling channel right now. This is the YouTube channel. Uh, you can see lovely little design on Photoshop, lovely thumbnails in Photoshop. You know, she does a few live she streams. She does a few professional pre-recorded videos. She's balling at the moment. She's got 1.5k subscribers down here, um, and she's had another 174 subs in the last 30 days, which is beating me by almost three times. So she's getting three times the subs in the last 30 days than me. So Obviously, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button down below so we can get what we can catch up, get more subs in the next 30 days. Um, we can see here we've got a featured channels list now. Poor Louise hasn't actually changed it from the default that YouTube actually puts in there where it just says featured channels. That is the default. You can change it to whatever you want, but clearly Louise hasn't bothered to change that. I mean, she could have anything. She could have them um, like cool with a K cool klc club or something like that oh, uh k k k oh sh yeah okay maybe not uh, cool klc club but klc club that works that's not harming anyone or bad or anything K yeah klc club i want to be a member of the klc club so put klc club there we've got some cool dudes in the klc club including myself of course the best one uh we've got tracy we've got andrew we've got mel we've got jen we've got like a proper squad in there and uh actually funnily enough that's what i call my little feature channels list the squad um so yeah we've got a few little things here you know we've got a few videos she's only done 49 videos you know she's a bit slow with her uploads and stuff but you know, that's how things go. You know, I mean, she obviously doesn't want to make all that sweet passive income from YouTube. And obviously, she doesn't want to get, like, to be a millionaire or anything. If she did, she'd be plowing out content like crazy. She'd have, like, thousands of videos and stuff. I mean, the goal for everyone these days in this capitalistic, commercialistic society is to obviously just get as much money as you can, funnel it into blue chip stocks that give you a nice, healthy dividend, and basically just sit in your mansion, eating Ben and Jerry's, watching some sort of Shane Dawson documentary, and essentially just waiting until you die, because that's basically the end goal of... Of capitalism so uh, yeah why wouldn't you want that so I don't know why Louise isn't actually uploading isn't actually uploading as frequently as possibly she could do because she could she could be in a mansion doing nothing other, other than just eating Ben and Jerry's and stuff and yeah that's a, that's uh, why wouldn't you want that Cl clearly why wouldn't you want that but anyway let's go and have a look at one of her videos is this the start of the video it is so let's see what she's got to offer us let's see the quality of these videos let's uh, really you know uh, get into the, the finite details of this editing and uh, let's hopefully not get bored by these videos because if i get bored i'm gonna say i'm got bored at parts and you better know i'm honest I mean, and i know people might be like thinking oh but you, but you can't do that that's that's bad you can't say you're bored or whatever but you know i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest if it, if this gets boring seven minutes in i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest and i'm not even gonna watch all seven minutes anyway i'm gonna be skipping because no one wants to sit here for seven minutes with me watching this my ugly bloody mug anyway let's see this it's finally done well, that was a nice little intro, nice little short sort of pre-title sequence to the titles here coming in. Nice little Gaussian blur in the background there on Premiere Pro, lovely. Nice little fade in, possibly an addictive dissolve on, on the three letters there as they're coming in. Let's have a look at this intro. Beautiful, look at that thing coming in, nice little swing on it, rotation with the, uh, the keyframes, lovely. Nice, simple, but... Bloody effective, really, really effective that. Nice little short intro, Gary's transformation at the bottom, lovely. Uh, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, one thing I'd note is it's a bit low. Let me turn it up on my speakers. It might just be my speakers, but it's a bit low for me. Hey, my name is Louise and I am an eBay reseller. 
In today's video, I have for you a garage transformation video. Those of you who follow me on Instagram and also talk to me separately will know that I have my garage that I have been trying to look at and do. Oh yeah, also just to mention, even though Louise has said it there, this is a garage transformation video. It's actually a bit out of date. It's about eight months old now. I think she's uh, she's got rid of this garage or whatever these days. But yeah, uh, it's a little bit out of date, but it doesn't matter anyway. I think that this will be a pretty decent video to watch. Stock in here. So over the past few weeks, I have been taking everything out and put some carpet down, as you can hopefully see at the back here. Looks like it's about a 1 minute 50 intro. I mean, it's a bit long intro, really, but if I'm not actually watching the video to necessarily watch it. I'm not watching the video for the first time, so obviously that affects my viewing. Um, but yeah, it's possibly a bit... Actually, it's like a 2 minute intro, and uh, I'm not being hypocritical. I've done loads of like 2 minute intros and stuff before, but God, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to scroll through. Right, so we're getting on to another little section here. There's going to be some music or something to this bit. Let's have a look. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got a bit of beats on. Oh, what are our tags as well? Let's come over here to our tags. I'll have to scroll down a bit. So tags, we've got Gary Transformation Unit. Let's have a see what our rankings are like. She's obviously getting some ranks because, look, she's got 1,600 views. Transform Is that it? It's the only ranking she's got. I would have thought she's got rank other ranking if you get that many views. Uh, we've got female in there. Female reseller. I don't know if she's targeting with those tags, but I, I, I guess it might be some weird people who are typing in that. But anyway, I don't know, maybe. Uh, it might be some normal people, or it might be some weird people typing in female on YouTube. But okay, uh, we've got editing. We've got, oh, the poor girl thinks she's going to rank for music and beats. Look at that. Oh, God. look at that. She thinks she's going to rank for music, beats, and editing. And she's clearly not ranked for those because they're far too broad tags, but... Oh, you gotta give it to her, aren't you? Anyway, so uh, we've got some music coming on here. Hey, hang on, hang on, Louise. I hope this is copyright free or else you, you're getting me demonetized here. It better be bloody copyright free. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. As a viewer, I'm getting a little bit bored now because it's going on a bit long. Now, my clips for music go on longer than this because I don't really take any consideration for a viewer. But really, what you should do is take consideration for a viewer. So I would hope that this doesn't go on for another 30 seconds or so. Let's see. Okay, nice, nice. Nice, I liked that cut. That cut was good because it, it keeps the viewer's attention there. There was a nice few cuts in that sequence. And then we can see we're talking again now. So that was good. That was good professional editing. It wasn't too bad. I was only I was only just getting on that cusp of boredom and then I was right back in there. I was thrown back in. So now what I would hope was hope she wouldn't do the whole three minute talk section now. Uh, that would then send me off into a boredom spiral again. So let, let's see. Labels on my boxes. These pink labels that you might see dotted around, they're my old box labels. Nice, nice little bit of editing with the music subtly in underneath that. That's, that's conscientiousness again. Good, good, good. That was good, nice little, that was a nice little section there. Beautiful. That was just, just a juicy, nice little section. You don't want more than that in a, in that sort of time frame of a video. Then it's back to the music, then we have music for 30 seconds again, hopefully, and then we're back into the talking. You need to keep getting it up like that. Keep cutting, keep, oh yeah, it's good, it's good so far. I like the music. Oh, where did Louise get this? Bloody hell, this is good music. It's, it's just like do 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 do. It's just prime nice quality music for just for just you know. It's not like in your face beat you eyes. It's just nice. It's in the middle. So let's have a go here. Actually, you know what? I'll skip this through this because we're going to be here all night if I save it. Right here we go. Right. So she's only that's good. She's done a bit of only a bit of music. Then back on to talking. So my next step is I'm going to now go through each separate box take them off the shelf, put it on my spreadsheet just to do a quick stock check and also update my spreadsheet and my eBay listings to say which item is in which box um, and I'm going to go through all them and that is my day spent today. Bloody hell, I'm loving this music. It's like it's proper rocking this. Right, so she's got some sort of like little thing hooked up there. So we're seeing different angles here again. That transition was bloody beautiful. 
that that transition with the uh, where was it here? Let me see here. Ah, bugger it! I can't find it. Bugger it! Ah, well, bugger it. But it was a really nice little tradition. It was like a—I uh, don't know how she's done it. It must have been a fade to white and then a fade back again. It was a bloody nice little thing that we've got a nice little setup going on here. We're, we're seeing with this video a nice progression where obviously we've got the old garage, the old look of it, and now we're seeing we're coming into the new now, coming into this new kind of setup here that's to hold pens and pencils and bits and bobs and scissors and stuff. Really nice. I would hope that we now see the bubble wrap area because the bubble wrap area is the key area. In every in, in, in every packaging setup, uh, the bubble wrap area is the best area. So uh, we've got to see that in a sec. Lovely. Look at that. Look at that on that screen there. It looks like some sort of stained glass work. It looks bloody lovely. That good cuts again. Nice little clean cuts. Now let's move on a bit. Here we go. We're coming back. Look at that. Beautiful editing. Because we're just starting to slowly think. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the music's gone on a bit. Right, let's, let's get back to the talking. Bloody brilliant. So there's a bunch of things that I'm going to talk to you about stuff. I am going to do a separate video about how I do my actual organisation. That will be coming, that is the next video, I do promise that. I did promise that in the last video, but obviously this has happened, so um, it had to be a bit of a delay, but that will Right, we don't need all the spiel about, okay, that's one thing we can get rid of. And I do it in my videos, but you don't need the spiel of, oh, I'm going to get round to this at another day. You can cut that out. Um, yeah, just get back to straight focus to the content. Uh, also, what I notice here... Oh, no, wait, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay, it's cut again. I was thinking that possibly this PC had dragged on a bit, but it's all right. Um, so, I'm going to talk to you about... Okay, so, in each of these boxes, they are now... WW label so they explain what is in each box here. So again, we're going around, we're getting a bit more of a hands on feel, a bit more of a personal style with the camera being held. And you can see she's explaining it really, really clearly, so it's really nice, it's lovely professionalism. Uh, the only thing I would say again back here is that obviously she's saying about, oh, well, it's going to be the cam, you know, I'm going to be having to hold the camera and stuff. It's just not necessary, you don't need to say all that crap. And I say it all the time, you feel the need as a creator to say it, but you don't need to say it, it's a load of crap. So yeah, cut that out, cut that crap out, uh, and then we see it. She's just going round through the thing. Now, the thing is, the thing that concerns me here is we've not seen the bubble wrap. And we know the bubble wrap area is the best area in the packaging area. And we've not even seen it. And it's worrying me that. Um, oh, ah, yeah. But she sells clothing, doesn't she? So she wouldn't have bubble Ah, oh, damn it. We're not going to see the bubble wrap. Everybody knows the bubble wrap section is the best section to look at because you've got them big rolls that are like really cool anyway so uh well let's move on so we're not going to see the bubble wrap so that's a shame so that that's dulled me expectations a little bit but still you can't help that can you if you're selling clothing selling clothing i've got them 14 16 and then 18 plus uh down here I mean, trousers jeans things like that and then got children's clothes, skirts, shorts, jumpsuits, that sort of thing. Yeah, nice. It's going through. Nice. Giving you a pan of these things. Giving you a, a route through, an idea of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, it's just like, it's just standard, isn't it? It's just standard, really. Now we've got something here. We've got the mannequin, we've got the setup, which I actually really like this setup, actually, with the white in the backdrop. That's really, really nice. Again, with a black dress on there, really, really is, uh, the contrast is beautiful. I always love black on white or white on black. It's a lovely contrast. Uh, but it was too small. It didn't fit this massive space. I really wanted to make sure that it went from top all the way down to bottom, yeah, so I can good. really sort of fit anything tall in here. And then we've got the, uh, actually the, uh, section here of the, uh, I don't know what this is, supplies, void of bubble wrap, obviously, which is annoying, but, <sighs> anyway, I, I want to do my, uh, review, I feel like I've seen enough, and I know Louise anyway from, uh, obviously watching her videos in the past, I know enough to, to structure a professional rating on this now, professional rating on this channel. Right, the only thing I notice here, oh yeah, she has got an end screen on. But she could do her like Some a. Stuff, whatever it might be. Um, have a look. Put them in the comment section below. You know, I'm happy to get back to you as soon as I can for that. So if you did like this video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. And also, if you are new and you've gotten this far in the video, please do subscribe so you can see all my new videos. Yeah. So end screens are on, but she should, possibly it would be good to do like a, an end screen on the end, a professional end screen. But no. I think she's done. Uh, I don't actually get she done cards, I'm not sure whether she has done cards on this one, but yeah, nice, professional, lovely. She also does live streams as well, she's been doing a few live streams recently. Uh, in fact, uh, she's been doing more live streams here. 
In fact, it's funny I should say that because we've got uh, she's been killing it back here, you know, 900 views, 1.8k, 1.1k, all the rest of it. But then uh, last few live streams, she's been going down a bit. So uh, yeah, I don't know whether the lives are doing well or what. But like 19 hours ago, 355 views. One week ago, 575, 800 views for the live stream. It's like, oh god, I don't know. Uh, maybe the live stream's doing well, maybe they're not, maybe you need a rework of a thumbnail or something, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it seems like maybe it's going down a bit here, tailing off a bit, I'm not sure. But we've got to be, yeah, we've got to be careful of that. Uh, but yeah, the live streams also, she does like more informal live streams, a lot different to the um, actual other content that you just saw. There's a, a lot of professionalism, a lot of conscientiousness on one side on the pre-recorded. We've got a lot of, um, I don't know, also fun-loving uh, creative enjoyment friendship on the other side uh, obviously with the lives and if you don't know the lives essentially it's just a group of people chatting on the screen there you'll probably see it on the on, on this thumbnail here um, so it's hard to give a definitive answer I mean Louise herself I always think of her as a woman who is would be really really good in a situation let's say for example uh, if you've just been broken heart you know someone you, you really loved some guy or whatever and you know, you're crying and you're bawling, you're like, why did he have to leave me? I mean, why is so fair? <laughs> why is so fair? He was so lovely. He's such a bloody pig. You know, like that. Uh, and, and you're just so conflicting your emotions. You're like, I love him, but I bloody hate him. He's just, why did he do that? You know, like that. Anyway, so, uh, she's... A, beautiful woman to be able to just um, really help you with that, you know, and, and let's say, you know, uh, sit you down in front of a telly, get you a load of junk food, if you want to chat about it, she'll listen, if you don't want to chat, she'll just stick on a comedy movie, you know, she won't stick on a, on a rom-com, she's not one of those girls who will stick on a rom-com and then it just makes things worse for you because, oh god, that'd be terrible. I mean, I know some girls out there, they stick on a rom-com, think, you know, for a friend... Whoa, what's that? What's that? What's going on? What was that? Oh my god, that was loud. Right? Did you hear that? Anyway, right? No, she's not one of them girls who just basically does a, uh, you know, stick a rom come on. And, uh, you know, it just makes you feel worse. You start disdaining, hating the rom-com. And it turns into this weird parody of a rom-com in which it rips your heart out even more. She's very conscientious. She knows that when to put on a rom-com and when not to put on a rom-com. And she'll just put on a comedy for you. She'll, you know, she'll uh, eat a bit of junk food with you or whatever. Talk you through it if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But she's that kind of woman, you know, and, and that's that's very admirable. And uh, and so with her kind of, she's got this professional side on her channel. She's got this kind of more relaxed attitude on her channel. And both of those come through very nicely. But the problem is with her waiting, I can't discern whether we're going to be, you know, sort of Friday afternoon, Friday evening content or Wednesday morning content. You see that professionalism that, that so evokes the feelings of a Wednesday morning or that kind of more relaxed element of the live streams that so evoke that kind of Friday afternoon, Friday evening uh, feelings. So I'm really not sure Wednesday morning or Friday afternoon. I mean, we could, yes, we could in, in our in our kind of rating here, in our try, trying to amalgamate these two together, we could go with a rating of Thursday afternoon. And I think it would fit the channel quite nicely to, to rate it as a Thursday afternoon channel. But I just... I'm going to go, controversially though it may be, we're waiting of Thursday morning. So this channel is Thursday morning. That's the waiting for Louise's channel. That kind of professionalism of Wednesday morning and then the more relaxed attitude of the Friday afternoon, evening. It amalgamates itself somewhere in between uh, sort of Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. And if you're going to watch this channel on a Wednesday morning, please do stick to the professional pre-recorded videos because the vibe won't be there for the live streams or not as much the vibe won't be there for those. And if you're going to watch this channel on a Friday afternoon, then please do stick to the live shows because again, that will that vibe will be there that Friday afternoon. If you're going to watch on a Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon specifically, although yeah, it is debatable what we could say Thursday morning as well, um, then the lives or the pre-recorded might fit the mood um, so long as it is just an average Thursday morning and nothing 
uh, terrible or nothing incredibly happy has happened for you. Uh, but if it is a normal Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon vibe, you will know that that channel is for you on that day. So, so that's what we're going to go for. We're going to controversially go for Thursday morning as the rating for this channel. So big up to KLC. Uh, the link will be down below to her channel. Thank you for putting up uh, with uh, my kind of review on your channel, Louise. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in another one. So if you liked this, whack the thumbs up, whack it, tap it, whack it, whack it, mack it, spack it, lack it, dack it, you know, whack it. And uh, give, it, give us a comment down below. Do you like Louise's channel? What do you think of Louise? Do you think she's awesome? Do you think she has really good editing? Do you think, you know, she's a bit more relaxed at times and that's nice? And all? You know, what do you, what do you think of a channel? What do you think of her kind of, uh, her approach to YouTube? And uh, yeah, just whack all that down below and uh, subscribe to my channel, of course, because my channel's awesome. It's like one of the best channels out there. And uh, if you want to do a review on my channel, anyone out there, you want do a review of my channel, whipping into my channel, go for it, whip me, whip everything out of me, whip me insides out of me, whip everything, just go ham, um, and uh, yeah, just tell me about it, obviously, so I can watch the video and have a laugh at it alongside you, because uh, there's no one who likes laughing at myself more than me, I don't think. <laughs> I love laughing at myself. Anyway, so, that being said, uh, who would you like? Who would you like next if you would like me to continue this? Who would you like me to to review next? Who would you like to be my next victim in one way? Um, yeah, who would you like to be? I know a few people have volunteered for me and uh, I might do those first. But who would you like? Who would you like to uh, for me to review? And I will see you in the next one, guys. That'll do it for now. Um, so, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome little video of this. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Ads Review. Watch it, I slow down.